came together, I think, in the 80s, and it was a task force that had planned to take the city of Jacksonville to pet court to get representation uh, for the minorities. So that is how the ward system came about. It was difficult to get minorities elected to the city council. Matter of fact, in the history of the city, it had never been done. So that was the background. And so we came together and organized. I made contact with the Lawyers Committee for Civil Rights Under Law in Washington, D.C. They looked the case and did an analysis. Um, their analysis determined or indicated that the at-large system was an impediment, was a barrier to blacks getting elected. Under the Voting Rights Act, if there are things that are barriers to minority participation, they can be challenged and set aside. So we set out on that journey down that road to challenge the at-large election system. We felt that it was a violation and that we could show the violation and it could be um, uh, redressed with the court system. So we went forward with the litigation and Jacksonville modified the system during the litigation to the current system. We analyzed that and felt that that was sufficient and met the needs of the Voting um, Rights Act. And subsequently the judge ruled that we were the prevailing party and the city paid, I guess, about $100,000 in, in attorney's fees to um, end that case. My husband was one of the forerunners of getting the task force started. And for that reason, he decided, well, Fanny, you should be a part of it. So with that, I became the first like city council member that came out from the task force. We established a legacy of minority participation, African-American participation in the city of Jacksonville on the city council. And it began with Ms. Coleman and, and myself and uh, Ms. Coleman ser served, I believe, 13 years. And I'm still there. Everybody, the participants, are very grateful to the chamber and to the city of Jacksonville for this recognition.